Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will get messages and guidance from Spirit to help you on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. So let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? We start off with the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords, there is a silver lining in the Ten of Swords showing that the worst is now behind you, that you've gone through the brunt of the difficulty, that you're coming to the end of a cycle. The Ten of Swords is actually that you are at the end of a cycle. It's done. It's over. It's There's no redeeming the situation. This could also be representing that you had some type of betrayal or backstabbing, something that went against you and really caused some trauma or pain. Let's see what other messages we can get for you. What other messages for Pisces, please? The next two messages we have is the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about unions, collaborations, contracts, emotional decisions. So some of you may have had a traumatic situation re regarding love. I'm also hearing that because you've gone through some type of trial or tribulation, you may have a new contract come out of that. I am hearing also for some of you, something is ending, um, but it's going to bring in something new. And then we have the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy showing that a new thing is being processed. We can see in the cups here, a new thing is being made. You have one foot in the water and one foot out of the water. Focus your energy on the feet that are on solid ground. I'm also seeing, you know, you walking a new path here to new enlightenment as well. Let's see what other messages we get. What other messages for Pisces? Okay, thank you. And then we have three more messages coming out. The next message we have here, Pisces, is the Three of Wands. So you're moving forward. You're surveying the horizon. You're looking out over what you want to accomplish. You're turning your back to this old situation, this old energy. And then literally you're moving forward. So you're turning your back to the old energy and moving forward very energetically. The Eight of Wands is a card of pure energy. There's not a single person or a person or anything else except motion on this card. And we're also seeing that on the wands that are shooting across, there's growth. So you're moving forward into a new growth period, a, a situation that's going to bring you into a new element. The Page of Cups is a message coming forward regarding emotions cups. We see the, the fish in the cup. So a message coming forward just for you. The Page of Cups is also the early stages of emotions. It's, it's also about putting yourself out there for a new opportunity, for something new. So let's dive into this and see what's going on because we do see something that's coming to a close and we're also seeing that you'll need to apply yourself as you go forward energetically and really looking forward as to what it is you want. What is this Ten of Swords for Pisces, please? For the Ten of Swords, we're getting three cards. The first card we have here is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is feminine fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with somebody who has heavy fire in their chart. But the Queen of Wands is not looking at the Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands is looking towards the future, holding on to the sunflower, holding on to the wand, a single wand of a new beginning. The next card we have is the King of Pentacles followed by the Queen of Swords. So I'm feeling here, Pisces, we have three people, three energies of people that could have very well caused you some significant trauma and pain. We have Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, King of Pentacles, Masculine, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Queen of Swords, Feminine, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So I'm seeing that there's many people involved in the circumstance that's coming to an end for you or that was traumatic for you. Possibly earth, fire, air sign. Let's continue and see what else is going on. What And it's interesting because each of these figures is looking forward. 
Um, so it seems as though there's a lot of weight giving being given to where you're going to move, what you're going to do as you go forward. What is this Two of Cups, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Two of Cups? For the Two of Cups here, Pisces, we are having the Hermit. You are definitely wiser for what you've gone through. The, the Hermit is Virgo energy. So some of you may have a Virgo around you um, that you're in partnership with. But ultimately, we're really seeing that this Hermit energy is about your wisdom, that you've You've been there, you've done that, you've gone through the gauntlet of, of being stabbed in the back or betrayed. Let's see what this hermit is. What is this hermit for Pisces, please? For the hermit Pisces, we are getting the sun. So you have this new awareness that's coming to you. The sun is also good news. So out of, out of what may seem to be a tragedy, you're eventually going to have some good news here. What is this temperance for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this temperance, please? And we have two cards coming out. The first one we have is the Two of Swords, followed by the Empress. So we're seeing as you make a decision to put your feet on solid ground, to come out of a situation, you're making a head over heart decision to come into the flow of creativity, into the Empress energy, Venus energy, Taurus energy, the energy of love and high vibration. What is this Two of Swords for Pisces, please? And here we're having the Four of Swords, coming to a place of rest, of peace, of contemplation. I'm, I'm hearing of soothing your soul. So some of you may need to take some time to just really soothe your soul, to um, really reflect upon where you've been and where you want to go. I'm hearing some of you might be in some type of pickle as well, some type of difficult situation. What is this Empress for Pisces, please? And you're trying to figure out how to come out of it. And then we see the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the Empress. So we see that you're definitely going to, as you stay in the Empress energy, independent of gender, but just in the flow of creativity, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn for you. And the Wheel of Fortune is good luck. It's, it's favorable um change that's coming upon you let's see what this three of wands is what is this three of wands for pisces please what does pisces need to know about this three of wands please and for the three of wands we have the page of pentacles coming out this is about learning something or having a new offer offer or opportunity come for you so as you're surveying the landscape, looking out over what it is you truly want, this is about you determining what it is you want. What is this page of pentacles for Pisces? And we have the two of swords coming out again. One more card for the page of pentacles, please. And the hangman. So we do see within your energy that you have sacrificed much. You've been in a uncomfortable position for quite a while, perhaps longer than you had wanted to. Some of you have really detached yourself from situations this is also a card of separation on um, the hangman some of you might be separated or looking at some type of separation but whatever type of separation you are going to be having or have experienced it's going to move you forward to something new that's going to bring in emotional renewal for you what is this eight of wands for pisces what is this eight of wands for pisces please spirit and for the Eight of Wands, we are getting the Five of Wands. So the changes might be a little bit chaotic. The Five of Wands is showing competition energy as well. Let's get one more card for this. What is this Five of Wands for Pisces, please? Pardon me. What is this Five of Wands for Pisces? And here we're having the Empress come out again. So as we were saying, Pisces, the change that you're going to be going through this energetic shift that we're seeing with the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Empress is going to lead you to a new place of abundance. Where, where you are right now, you may not be able to see that you're going to have an outcome that's going to work for you rather than against you. But we do definitely see the Wheel of Fortune is turning on your behalf. It, it might take... Um, some energetic shifts here as we're seeing the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. What is this Page of Cups for Pisces, please? And here we're having the High Priestess with the 
magician. So intuitively, trust where you're being led. You're being led to a new beginning that's definitely going to be to your advantage. No matter where you are now, no matter what circumstances you're going through, we see following your intuition is going to guide you to the right place, to the right circumstances, to the right manifestation. What is this High Priestess for Pisces, please? The High Priestess is, in fact, Pisces energy. But here we're getting the Judgment card coming out, showing that following your intuition is going to lead you to make the right decisions for yourself. What is this Magician, please? Thank you. For the Magician, we're having the Seven of Swords. One more card for this Magician, please. Just be careful that you're not self-deceiving yourself. The Magician with the Seven of Swords can indicate that there is deception around you regarding um, people that you're working with or projects that you might be involved in. The Seven of Swords with the Magician is also indicating that you're going to need to have a plan coming together, really working on something. Some of you might be learning some new things, um, new skills, new trades, new crafts, but this is really a time for you to focus on what it is you want to achieve. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And we have prosperity begins. So this is a very, this is the Ace of Pentacles showing a new opportunity that is coming forward for you. You're going to plant a seed that's going to grow into something much more beautiful than what you had before. One oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. We have the Empress twice, we have the Sun, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So we see definitely good things coming for your path ahead. And then we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn and that we do see you coming out of the Ten of Swords. Many of you are already out of the Ten of Swords. The worst has already happened and now you're restructuring your life, figuring out what it is on your horizon that you want to go and pursue and, and go after. Spirit, one fortune oracle for Pisces, please. One fortune oracle for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. And here we have marriage. I believe the marriage card came out the other day as well. So for some of you, this a, a difficult situation may be leading you to a partnership. Now that partnership doesn't have to be romantic. It can be otherwise, but this card here does in fact indicate marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. And that's what we're seeing within the Empress energy as well, is that energy of emotional fulfillment and unconditional love that the Empress does embody. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. One angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. Thank you. And we have be assertive. So once you understand what it is you want to go after Pisces, you have the key here and you're illuminated. So we see, or it's, it's a mask actually, removing a mask. It's like a masquerade mask. I thought at first it was a key. It looked like a key to me, but you know, you really have the, the gusto, the ability to be assertive and move forward after the things that you do want. And we do see the magician energy here showing about your manifestations and moving forward as well. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. One lucky oracle for Pisces, thank you. And here we have, be very careful of a blonde you know. Being true to a friend will injure your future. Be careful. So that could be what it was for the Ten of Swords back here, is that you may have been true to somebody that was not true to you. A letter that you will receive, act on it at once. You will soon meet the one you most want to meet. So it does indicate that some of you are going to be meeting somebody who's going to be very pivotal to your life. If you have a yes or no question for today, Pisces, the answer is yes. We have the number six and the lucky number for today is 132, which re reduces to the number six. So this is a short and sweet message that I have for you today, Pisces, and I hope it helps. You'll have to let me know if any of this is relevant to you, but we definitely do see an energetic shift coming out of the fact that you've gone through a circumstance that has ended or is coming to an end. But the place that you're going to be coming into is going to be 
covered with so much more beauty than the place that you left behind. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.